Hello and welcome to the first episode of Pioneers of Pagonia on this channel. I am El Demetrius and usually you'll find City Skylines content here, but as a youngster I love the Settlers franchise from the first till the fourth game in the series and this looks like a decent successor of those games. Maybe the involvement of Volker Wettig had something to do with it, as he was the inventor of the Settlers and was involved in the franchise up until Settlers 3. This will be a let's play series where we will be slowly learning the game and make sure to do everything that we have to do to have a great economy as well. <laughs> so that was enough introducing this game. Let's actually start a new game. And what I want to do is to learn the game in a slow pace um, so that you can learn along with me. Um, so I want to do one of these guidance maps, uh, but with enemies. This will mean that we have a bit more difficulty playing this game. And we also need some resources to get some soldiers later on. So let's make sure we select this one and then start this game. Loading is quite fast as you can see, and this is our starting point, the ship, the Venturer. And as you can see it's not connected to the road, and that means this red flag here. These red flags mean that there's something wrong with the building, and um, make sure we have to look at that. Um, in the top here we have all our resources, our population, um, everything you need an eye on. Uh, let we have our woods, we have our stone, we have our copper fire, mining facility stuff, uh, foods, tools. So we definitely have to keep an eye on this uh, inventory menu. Um, and I want to sh make sure we follow all these uh, objectives and build along what we have, what we need. To make sure we learn the game and see what building functions with other buildings um, which we really had in settler games the old settler game so i'm glad that way of building is back in this game so let's first start with an explorer hut and a guard tower and let's have a quick look at what the differences are guard towers can help us extend our territory using border stones um, any station unit type can patrol or attack target locations from here and we have our explorers huts um, these are the home to the explorers who use ration to explore more unknown terrain um, knowing that the guard towers help us with expanding our territory um, I'm going to place one in this area because as you can see we have some stone here, we have some copper. Um, these are definitely resources we will be needing later on in this build. So let's place one of these guard towers here. And when you hold down your um, right mouse button you can actually turn these buildings in the way you like them. So let's place them this guard tower here and make sure we have a road. Now with this new road tool you can actually make kind of a grid if you would like to. Um, this will probably help with the most efficient way um, for building and um, having resources close to each other but I actually like a more organic look I've always played games like this in this way so why don't we do that here as well and let's make sure we got this guard tower connected up to the road so these diggers can go to here and start working on that area and now we need another guard tower and let's place that one here just above the beach and let's make sure we have a road let's make this 
road close to the oh wrong way close to the beach and there we have the road there and what we also need is an explorer hut which i'm not sure where i want to place this yet so let's wait with that for a bit um we have different types of wood that we can chop down and we need a wood cutting hut so let's make sure we get this wood wood cutter uh, close to the forest here well, let's place it here and let's make sure we got a road here and we need a quarry um, but let's wait a bit for that until this guard tower um, extends our territory a bit um, but we also need a sawmill so let's place that in close proximity of this woodcutter's hut and while we wait for these buildings to be built let's oh before we i want to speed up but what i really like about this game again is that the animations are back something i really missed in the previous settler games well they had kind of animations but not so detailed and good as in this game to be honest where you can see the scaffolding raise up a bit and the uh, people actually using the stones and the wood and there goes the scaffolding almost finished now and uh, almost done on the construction there it is a hundred percent now I actually like how these buildings look in this game and now we just have to wait for the staff to occupy this building and while we wait for that let's see how this other building goes just have to wait and there we have our guards ready to occupy the building and as you can see you can set the Um, you can see the ring on what they are guarding and as you can see now oh, that is too close so as you can see now they are patrolling and they do have some border stones and with these border stones they can actually extend the border carrier with the boarding stones of the border stones yes that's correct and when they are in this building all these little guys are able to extend the border for us see there they go In the old settlers games when this fit building was finished you automatically got a new ring and here they actually just work on expanding the, the border which actually looks great oh, and here you can focus point so let's set this to the focus point which means they start working towards these rocks as well and that's that we need for our quarry and stonemason. Oh, we also got the option now to build a uh, forester building. So let's quickly place that as well. And I can, like these other buildings, I want this close to the sawmill and the forester. So these buildings kind of... Uh, help each other 
Oh, and this building is already occupied and <clears throat> expanding as well. And here you can see how quickly our border expands. So this certainly is okay to... Now well, let's do this here. This, this is the option to make another row there. Then let's make sure to add the query. And the... what else did we need? Stonemason. The stonemason. And let's place this on the other side. Just like we did with the forest forestry area. So these buildings are... Oh, they ask me to build two stone masons. Uh, let's make sure that we have some more room to build one. Let's speed this up a bit. As you can see, we can get up to five times the game speed. So we can lower it now again. And now we can add a bit more road here. And that way we can place another stonemason here. Like this. <clears throat> Let's speed it up and watch all these buildings being built. Okay, back to normal speed. As you can see, we need another carry. Place that in close proximity of this building. These are being built. And we need a well. Uh, build a well to ensure your forester gets water. Oh, that's, uh, for the plant samplings, after initial water supply is used up. Wells cannot be placed on dry ground. Okay, let's find out where this well. Oh, the well is over here. So maybe we can... Oh, that's dry ground. So we can't place it over there. Well, let's place it there in the corner. Okay. What do we need now? Food production. Very important to get that going. So we need a hunter's lodge and a forager. And a forager builds... Um, oh, if we have uh, raspberries, porcini. Heck, I don't know what that is. Or flax available in your territory to supply your marketplace with a bigger variety of food and ingredients later on. And a hunter lodge, well, this hunts down wild animals. So I'm not sure if... Oh, here we have some bunnies, a rabbit. Oh. Yeah, this seems a... Let's get a road. Here. How large are these buildings? Let's build it like this. And let's see. This is the, the residence. Provisioner. I need this one. Forager. Okay, let's build this like it. Which means we can get a, a hunter, a hunter's lodge up here. Or we could place it here as well. Let's place it down there. See there. And then maybe let's have the focus point here oh and there we have our well now what do we need for 
build an explorer's hut. Oh yeah, we still need the explorer's hut. Let's make sure we have the road over here. Still plenty of wood. We have plenty of stones. Border stones we have enough. And we could be thinking about our construction. Is it over here? No, probably not. Processing? No. Here, I think. Uh, stone mason, stone mill, construction camp. Residents of construction units. When they go here, they will go here when waiting for a new task. <clears throat> okay, fine. Let's have a small road in the back here. And then select this building here. So that's being built. That's being built. I think those we have. This is being built. Almost done, I think. Yes. We are at 99, 100%. So this is done as well. And now it's giving me issues. Oh, staff incomplete. And there we have staff income. And there we go. Lovely animation. With water being pulled up. <clears throat> now you have to realize this game is still in early access. Still very playable. Um, very good looking. Just a great game. Overall, I, I, I really feel the old Settlers vibe in this game. Which I've played for many, 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 many hours. Okay. Oh, now it's... Asking me for more wood cutting huts. Optional consider ordering a forester. Consider ordering a forester to plant soft trees only. Firewood. Build wood cutting huts. Where would we want more wood cutting huts? I don't think we need it right away. So we could use this area for some more wood gathering. For this area. So let's do this over here. <coughs> This one and the Forester. Can we get it? Yes, we can squeeze one in here. So let's make sure we have those as well. And what do we need? Build a vegetable farm. Just wait a short second with that. Make sure that everything we have set up is being built at the moment. Don't want to rush everything. Stone, coal. Let's see. Let's have a look at some of the other animations. Oh, this is looking amazingly good. What do you people think? Like this as well? I do. Let's see, the explorer's hut is almost done now. Construction camp. 
Well, that still needs builders. Building enabled. Normal priority. Oh, you can set priority as well. Still needs to be dug out. Hunting animals. We have had some rabbit meat, boar, deer meat, and leather. Maybe we can add a rogue down here, like this, and make sure we have our vegetable farm here. Um, place it like this. And we need cottage, cottage, cottage. How many do we need? Three. So let's give them this nice area on the beach. So these are just exploring the island. Don't have any work orders. They have ration enough for this moment, so it's all fine. It says we need another stonemason. Let's see if we can. Stonemason shapes stone into border stones and expand the territory. And cut stone to construct some buildings. Well, this sucks, because can we, let's see, can we get a road here, and then um, yes we can, and now, where are we, oh here we are. Have our road up here, and now we probably can. Ah. Still doesn't fit. Let's see, can we destroy this road as well? see if this works not yes now it works that's better <clears throat> so that should help with production and we need another sawmill output storage full what does that mean probably we have more Now we have hardwood, and we have soft beam, and I think this is wool. We also, let's work on our um, farmland first. And play some farm fields in the back here. How many do we need? Three, nine. So. Make sure we have a road beside the farm field. Just because we can. we need oh we need a visioner so why not
No, we can't place it over here because we can place it here. Can't connect to that road because there's a little tree in our way over there. <clears throat> but it's being built. Can we connect up? Yes, we can. And maybe we can at that sawmill there and the wood cutting hut there but we definitely produce another force to them but this is our large foresty area over there I think we have most of the stuff that we need to keep our economy going at this moment. Not ready to work on our population. Let's wait until this is all done and we need another well and that's probably because see it's, we need another well so let's place this in close proximity of this building like this it's a nice spot let's see this one is already almost done great start so far we discovered a border of a Pagonian village. That's fun. We have two guard towers. Oh, and we have stone was discovered. And we have discovered an enemy camp. Bandits. Wonder if they are hostile. Let's see. Oh. Your units are being attacked by bandits. Explorer. Oh. Bandit, veteran bandit, bandit. Okay, let's see how this goes. Stone was discovered on this side as well. Plenty of products. It makes me wonder, do we need some area to store everything and let's see if we can place a warehouse here because I do think we have plenty of this one has issues no guild hall available. What do we need a guild hall for? Guild hall, train craftsmen and construction workers. Okay. Guild hall. And let's make sure we have the road connected here. <clears throat> So it says we need another carry as well, but let's wait with that. Maybe when the stone is gone, we have some more place to build it over here. Trading center of a new faction discovered. Objectives are now available. Raise your standings for all promoting factions on the island status. Or better, improve your standards by helping out and fulfilling the objectives. Find all these. Oh, I've done that. And how can I do that? Gain wealth. Be boar statue. Okay, that's something we really could do later. Build a wood workshop.
could use that as well. Okay, I see that's it's piece of rock is gone, so now we can build this quarry over here. Mm. Still have plenty of supplies here. This all looks fine. Plenty of stone, iron ore, so this definitely could be our mining area. Oh, it wants us a crop farm and more farm. Oh, we could Let's see. Can we? Yes, we can. Let's build the road to over here. And let's build a crop farm here. Yes, crop farm. Being built. And we build the... Okay, let's, let's wait a bit. Make sure we have the right farm lands. And I think we need a well for this as well. We need a well for this as well. That wasn't a one that I intended to make, but still a good one. And this warehouse is being filled at the moment. Looking good so far. All our carriers are occupied. Oh no, structure side carriers. We have more. But all the other carriers we have, they are fully occupied. But for the construction side, we can use some more. So now limestone coal was discovered. Limestone. What do we... Limestone was discovered. Where do we need limestone for? This one? No. This gathers copper, coal, iron ore, silver ore. Utilizes, produces. Tailor shop. Let's see... Not sure. We'll have to find that out later. Build a stone mill. Build a stone mill to produce cement out of limestone for the construction of advanced buildings. The stone mill requires wooden cogwheels, which can be used at the wooden workshop. This is the guild hall of the wooden workshop, so we have those. Do we have any cogwheels at the moment? Wooden shield. Let's make sure we produce one of these things each. Just because we can. Um, a stone mill. Where can we place this? It would make sense to have it in an area like this. And let's, where is it? Stone mill. Okay. So, that's being built. A disguise, thief, still something. Now that we have here, we have coal, we have copper, we have stone, copper, coal, iron so i think we can place a copper mine we can place a coal hut we can place a 
Iron Hut. What else do we got here? Silver. Did we have silver over here? Iron ore, stone, coal, copper, stone, stone. No, it's mostly stone and copper. So this is fine for now. So this is being built and now we need to build some farmland. As you can see, um, that was over here. Two, three. Why aren't you... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Why? What's going on? No diggers available. Okay, we'll have to wait for that. It's fine. <clears throat> this is being built we have plenty of that yeah we still got the tavern and the tavern tables that is something that could help with our population and we are having a traffic jam Let's see, can we have an additional road here? Yes, we can. Let's see if this helps a bit. Ah, uh, there are the diggers coming. We're getting there. Something has been stolen. How dare you! So these bandits actually steal your goods. Okay. I've learned something today. Well, I'm also learning that I'm enjoying this game. Military Academy. No, don't want that yet. Phil Smith, Taylor Shop. I do think we have no staff present. Tool shovel. Wait, do I have a tool? We have no shovels. This is the wood workshop. This means I need a toolsmith. Yes, we need the toolsmith. Toolsmith. Yes. Let's see. Toolsmith. Where were you? This is the toolsmith. Of course, I've placed the road in a way that we can't. Okay. Let's make sure we have a nice. Area for our toolsmith here. He needs work orders. We need some shovels. What do we need? Oh, we use iron iron bar. We don't have any iron bars. See, I'm already screwed up my. Uh, which means we need melting works as well. And let's make sure we have a warehouse in here as well. <clears throat> Building, building, building. 
still plenty of wood, plenty of stone. We have enough copper and coal. And this will, will be gathered from now on. Okay, let's quickly speed this up. Production order of wood workshop finished. It was this one. Let's make sure we have everything we need at least once. There we go. Let's build one of everything. So that we have... Okay. All these highlighted carriers are the ones that are gathering resources for this build. Oh, I like this. We can we can we can watch exactly which gatherers for, uh, work for that building. These for D. Oh, I like this. Oh, this is this is an amazing feature. Love it. Great work. Great work, developers. Great work. <clears throat> okay, this is producing stuff. See? The hammer is already done. And this warehouse is being built as we speak. So this is producing. This is producing... means we get a shovel let's get another shovel in use five minutes cover to craft tools which means I have in stock Okay, I've built this, but it's still, it's bringing water. It needs a shovel, it's, oh, recruited at the guild hall. Yes, so, five, okay. Let's recruit them. <clears throat> See how this works. Pause. Oh, no works order selected. That's fine. Wooden spare. Let that be our main objective for now. There we go. I think this one will be picking up the shovel or shovels. What is she carrying? Come on. There we go. See, we have... Let's make three. Oh, let's, in the meanwhile... Construct... The tavern somewhere. Prisoner Mark found the Mark Tavern. Okay, and what do we need? More tables. Four. I only need four. Could we create a shortcut like this? Yes, we can. And let's connect up these rows as well. <clears throat> 
should probably help out. Ah, just can't squeeze it in, so never mind. No, we can't. This is the best we can do. Oh, this is... Oh, that's fast. We need a market fountain for this. Where are you? Here. Market fountain. There we go. Must be near the market stalls and a tavern. Well, this is close, I think. Yeah, that's close enough. Oh, and we need six market stalls. What do these market stalls do exactly? Carriers bring food from the hunters and farms to market stalls. Workers from a nearby tavern collect the ingredients. Needs to be in range of a market fountain. Has room for up to three different ingredients with a capacity of up to ten units each. <coughs> okay, let's build a few, shall we? Okay, it needs to be in proximity of the well as well. Again. It wasn't intended. Okay, one, two, three, four, five. Six? No. Six, yes. Anything, anything. Okay, this... <clears throat> Okay, we've got these market stalls now, so this will be okay for our population. Okay, I do think we've got a... Let's turn this back to normal speed. I think we've got a good start for our first episode. And I'm actually enjoying this game. I don't know what you guys think. Let's make sure. So yeah, I think this will be it for our first episode. And we will be expanding our population next episode. And start working on um, our military expansion and training. And our wealth, but to get we have massively increased our wood and stone supply, we've got our mining up, we've got plenty of foods and reserves for that, we've got our tools going. So yeah, I think we've got every basic cover that we need for a good beginning. So <clears throat> Yeah, uh, my first overall feeling of this game is that I really, really like it. Um, having a lot of fun. And um, this will be definitely something you will be seeing more on my channel. Um, if you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel if you want to stay updated of this series. And I have a Discord server as well. Um, I'll put a link to that in the description below so you can join and we can talk about this great game so for now thanks for watching and uh hope to see you on the next one bye